this is Chrissy T. I'm back with a recap of Loving Hip Hop Atlanta, season 11, episode 27. The cast is in Canada. Uh, this is another healing trip sponsored by Spice and Rennie. So Spice think this trip was, will bring them together. But considering the history of the show, we know when they take trips, it only drift them apart, honey. If y'all want to take trips to fight, just say that. So we find out that Saucy, he's nowhere to be found. He decided not to go to Canada with Zell because we do know that they had a falling out. They were insulting each other. Zell called, <laughs> Zell called um, Saucy fat and greasy. Was he fat and greasy when you tried to smash? Hmm. So anyway, um, Zell hopes that maybe he and Saucy can reconcile. I don't know. I don't like I don't like how Saucy treated Zell. I feel like Zell was more interested into Saucy. Saucy just he just seemed not interested. Meanwhile, everyone is in the sprinter. It was quiet as a mouse. They were so quiet. They were quiet like they were in the library. And out of nowhere, Rennie has to stir the pot. I'm talking about she can sense there's tension between Bambi and Sierra. Mind you, nobody said anything. They were in their own little bubble, minding their damn business. But of course, she had to stir the pot. So Sierra said that she's disappointed and she's upset that Bambi didn't have her back when she was dragged through the mud on social media by the fans. And it's just so juvenile to me. Girl, get over it. Kids get mad over stuff like this. Not adults. But I do want to mention that the situation, the situation that happened with Erica Mena and Spice, Bambi rushed to her defense on the internet. Oh, so I'm thinking Sierra is upset that Bambi didn't do the same thing for her when she was being dragged through the mud. So finally, Bambi said, listen, I'm tired of these same ass tired conversations and discussions because every time they try to clear the air, it leads to another argument. Then someone suggests a healing trip to smooth things over. That just sparks another argument. It's like a never ending cycle. It keeps going and going and going. If this cast is really serious about mending the fences, try bringing in a professional therapist. And truth be told, everything is fine when ain't nobody trying to clear the air. So Carly chimes in and she said the roughing up that she received from Spice was completely unprovoked. And I agree. Um, Spice is wrong for putting her hands on her. Now, if we if we're friends and you feel you're that upset with me that you have to put your hands on me. Once you put your hands on me, honey, it's up. It is up from there. There's no need to mend fences. There's no need to clear the air, honey. It's up, period. Meanwhile, they're still trying to push for Spice and Carly to have a conversation. In Spice confessional, she said that She's not ready to have a conversation with Carly and maybe she's not because like I said before, Spice cannot have a conversation with Carly without being triggered. So I really hope they don't try to force these two in a, in a conversation they're not ready to have, huh, but let's keep going and see what happens. So during dinner, Sierra was throwing shots at Bambi and Jessica White for having matching fur and Bambi paid her dust. After Sierra was done speaking, there was an awkward silence. And that's how you handle it. Don't give her the satisfaction of a reaction. Don't even provide her fuel for an argument. So Bambi did right by paying her dust. Meanwhile, Jessica White, she called Spice out. She said that, you know, she had an issue with Spice not wanting to sit next to her in the Bahamas. And Spice said, uh, I don't even know you. I've never seen you a day in my life. At this point, Spice is giving her the side eye. Spice is now convinced that Jessica White was trying to provoke her. And y'all know how Spice is. She's so hypersensitive to stuff like this. So this might set the tone for the rest of the trip. So we'll see what happens on the next episode. Because she definitely giving Jessica the side eye. So then Sierra said that she doesn't want to be in a weird space with Bambi. And she thinks they need to have another conversation that they've already had. Um, th what, is, what is left to be said? I don't, I don't understand. So Bambi, she acknowledges that they haven't been there for each other in ways that they both needed. 
And she said that they have already issued their apologies, but somehow external external influences and other people's opinions kind of rip open those same wounds they've already tried to heal from. So Rennie felt the need that she had to remind Bambi as to why Sierra is upset with her. And she says that Sierra is upset and hurt because Bambi didn't show up for her when she needed her. So in response, uh, Bambi said, well, you didn't stand up for me when I was being tag team by Shekinah and Spice in the Bahamas. Sierra said that she did tell Spice she was wrong the very next day, which she did. Um, ladies, ladies, move on. L let's just move on. Um, if a friendship is based on keeping score of who did what and for whom, it's, it's not a real friendship. Uh, real friendship isn't tallying up what you did for one another. It's ridiculous. It's time to move on. So Sierra says to Spice, did I or did I not tell you the very next day that you were wrong? So Spice pretended she had no clue as to what Sierra was talking about. So she abruptly ends the conversation talking about it's time to wrap up because we have an early start tomorrow. So Spice is clearly avoiding accountability and confronting those inner demons because she don't she don't like to see herself in that light. She don't like to see it. She don't want to confront it. She don't want to sit in her truth. And if she doesn't, there really won't be any healing, girl. And what makes matters worse is that the people around her are not honest about who she is as a person. And they keep making excuses for her. And it only adds to the problem. Um, I can already tell that Spice does have a good heart. She has pure intentions, but we can't deny that there's demons inside her that needs to be addressed. And it's okay. Moving on, I forgot Carly was there because you didn't hear a peep from her. Carly was at this dinner table on mute. She said not one word. I almost forgot she was there. But shortly after dinner, Carly had a lot to say. Um, Carly, Jessica, and Bambi, they're talking. And Jessica want to know why no one calls Spice out on her stuff. And Carly said that's because people keep making excuses for her. Uh, where the lie at? Um, I like Spice, but she, Carly told no lies. Um, they do make excuses for Spice and Spice never takes accountability for anything because in her eyes, she doesn't do anything wrong. She's the victim and not the aggressor. So she threatens Carly and Carly take those threats, uh, literally, and Spice says she shouldn't because she's Jamaican. That's how they talk. But girl, you can't use that as an excuse when you're threatening someone. They don't give a damn that you're Jamaican. She's hearing the words that are coming out of your mouth. And what came out of your mouth was a threat. So, so then the ladies are all on the sprinter and Spice take notice that Jessica is with them because initially she was on the other sprinter, but she decided to join them. So Spice said she felt like Jessica was trying to pull something out of her during dinner. And Jessica said she just wanted Spice to acknowledge that she hurt her feelings. Now, I don't recall this incident Jess is talking about. Neither does production, which is why they didn't run it back. So Spice tells Jessica, well, you hurt my feelings too. And I do recall the incident that Spice is talking about. They were in Jamaica and there was an incident that occurred with spice and bambi now jessica white approaches spice giving her two cents on a confrontation she didn't even witness she only heard one side of the story and automatically blamed spice now spice was at fault but she wasn't there to witness it so the ladies did apologize to each other and decided to just move forward this is the first time that Car uh, Spice actually showed maturity and accountability. So I'm impressed. Uh, Y'all, that is the end of this episode. Let me know what you think in the comments. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.